Which we do. We want to stand out at these games. Marty's at a vintage shop with the look of what you can find there. Tell us all about it, Marty. Well, I tell you what, Cena May, good morning. Good morning, everyone. Hope you're doing well on this Monday. MJ and Quentin here. It's MJ's shop, retrospective vintage clothing. Coming up after the break, we'll show you some Baltimore sports gear that definitely goes back to the 80s and 90s. We're in Fed Hill, one of the trendier areas in town. What makes the late 80s and 90s such a big deal now? Um, I think it's, it's, it's a mix of things. There's definitely a lot that goes into it, but I think the main reason is just, I think fashion is a cycle. Every 20 years, it kind of repeats itself. Um, the past 10 years, we've been looking at a lot of 90s stuff, and as we move into the, the 20s, I guess, we're looking more into, like, the early 2000s stuff is really coming back, like baggy or silhouettes. As they call it on Sirius XM, the 10 spot, the, the, the 10s. Yeah. But we're primarily 90s. Look at this. Look at MJ. Look at that. Eagles 94 tour shirt. And look at the Fear the Turtle shirt. Nice. Nice. Coming up after the break, tell you what we'll do. We'll break out some O's gear. It was the era of the ornithologically correct Baltimore Oriole would have been the era when Cal Ripken would have been in the home run contest, not a Gunnar Henderson. Yep. All right, we'll be back to Fed Hill coming up shortly. Okay, we'll be there. Thank you, Marty. Well, vintage clothing, it's really making a comeback. Yes, and Marty is checking out a very cool store in Federal Hill. Hello, Marty. Well, hello, Meg. Hello, Cena. Good morning again, everyone. We're on Charles Street, 906 Charles, South Charles, actually. Retrospect. I said retrospective earlier because my whole life when I look back is a retrospective. <laughs> retrospect. By the way, you're closed today and tomorrow, but your online presence is giant. Tell them the website. Yeah, we just uh, dropped our website, retrospectmd.com, uh, a few weeks ago, and it's been going pretty well. We're actually going to have a drop tonight, so be sure to check that out. Okay, so you were asking about, or we've got concert tees, we've got football retrospective, excuse me, retrospect tees, NASCAR clothing but you wanted to see orioles take a look it's the era of the ornithologically correct oriole back in the 90s the world kind of got serious and it was like can we drop the cartoon bird for god's sake and they did and that was the the fans wanted to see a change and that was the ornithologically correct oriole you see on all the cal pictures from 21 31 21 30. Yeah, that is uh, my personally favorite bird. I just think it looks the best, and it has that bit of nostalgic feel to it. Reminds you of the 90s kind of. But it's more, uh, Quinn and MJ, let's take a walk. It's more than just Cal, because you had the end of Memorial Stadium and yep. the beginning of Camden Yards. Yep. Um, you, you had a lot going on with the Orioles. Shout out, Cal. I mean, he, st Cal. he still continues to this day to be a major factor in Baltimore yes. Orioles baseball, mm -hmm. but... Cal would tell you it was all, always more than just him. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we find, um, like, up here we have our Eddie Murray shirt from back in the day. Eddie. Like, some of the star players from that era. We love seeing that stuff. The Looney Tunes stuff as well. Those are really cool collaborations that they did. The All-Star Game is uh, really cool stuff as well. So, the Orioles merch back in the 90s was way better than the stuff that they're doing nowadays, in my opinion. <laughs> Do you agree? Oh, I'd certainly agree. Well, tell, me yeah. why, tell me why you say that. Um, I just, last time I was at the Orioles game, I went into the team store to see what they had, and the graphics are kind of vintage inspired, and it's just not as loud, they're not doing big graphics like they used to, like, anything that does seem to be bigger like that is a take on a vintage graphic, so. Hold my mic real quick. Yes, sir. Just talking about vintage, I want to grab something, just real quick. Oh. There it is, right there. Here you go, you want to see some Baltimore vintage? Got <laughs> it. Check this out. You were telling me we only got like 10 seconds. Baltimore Colts, Baltimore Stallions, yes. the Baltimore Stars. We had, you know, three football teams before the Ravens. We, we've got a wrap. Yeah. This, this Baltimore retro sports thing is getting huge. Website, one more time, is? Retrospectmd.com. All right, coming up next half hour, how about some concert tees coming up? Yes, sir. What do you think? No, the no. era of Michael Jackson. Let's yeah. do it. Back to TV Hill. Retrospect. We're in the brick and mortar location of Retrospect. Owner MJ, friend Quentin. But you are a banging website. You do most of your work on web. Yeah, uh, the website has been going pretty well. Um, we do weekly drops on it, so everything that I put out in the store will go online the, the following Monday. So people will drive to the website on Mondays. We were just talking Orioles last half hour. 
We're going to come back during football and talk Raven. Tell him, not available yet, but how much Ravens retro you have? Today? I have a lot. I've been hoarding Ravens gear for the past like hundreds of pieces, five months. So yeah, I have like well over two hundred pieces. You know, it's real. In, it's real interesting when you uh, when you do a Where's Marty, you come to a storefront, but the world exists online, and it's really interesting to see the brick and mortar behind yeah. the logo. Yeah. Okay, so. Here you go, all the concert tees. Check it out. Ted Nugent, the rock and roll animal. Green Day. That's a classic. Yeah, good variety for sure. Kiss Army. Yeah, we definitely try to carry a decent variety of, of bands and artists from the 90s. Um, some sell better than others. The Grateful Dead stuff is super popular. Some of these more uh, early 2000s bands are coming back now. So... Let's, let, enjoy that. let's take a walk backwards real quick, because you told me something really interesting. Yeah, yeah. You told me that NASCAR and Harley-Davidson, what are the prices of these things? Uh, it, it depends. They, they somewhat have um, a market value. You can look online and kind of get an idea of what they're, what they're going for. Um, but they can fetch like over $100 for specific graphics and styles. Some like NASCAR tees, depending on the driver, can be better in price. Um, these big AOP graphics, we call them, stands for all over print. Those are a bit of a higher, higher dollar item, but it just all depends on kind of the graphic and the era. Basically. And what you were telling me is you just shop it around. You can, pretty much every price range you can find. You got yeah. a retro party to go to, you hit the website. Exactly. I got 35 bucks to spend, you'll find it. You can absolutely get a t-shirt here for 35 bucks. You got 135 to spend, you can get a really cool t-shirt. <laughs> 35 bucks really will get cool. you one for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Tell them what the website is. Uh, retrospectmd.com. It's just so cool to see the brick and mortar of the website we've all heard about. All right. Thanks for hosting us. Thank you, We Marty. really appreciate it. Hey, Marty, I appreciate you. Appreciate it. Fear the turtle. Fear the turtle. That's, that's the shirt of the day. <laughs> Back to TV Hill.